So I'm going to just move on over to the A, B, C member. And the A, B, C member looks something like this. And be A, B, and C. And just remember Newton's law, it's the beginning of everything, okay? First of all, let's put in our reaction forces. So you'll have 125 pounds right here. And then remember, Newton's law, as I was saying, Newton's law means equal and opposite. So if it was going to the right, in one in one diagram, it was it's going to go to the left in the next. So um, just to keep the the signals, the the signs all the same. So if you find it switching somewhere else, it it will follow through. So um, previously the BX was going to the right. So now in this one, since it's uh, an attached member, it will go to the left. And this will be our BX. We already know what BY is. BY is going to be 250 pounds down in that last diagram, thus up in this diagram. And then you're going to have CX and CY. You just keep it all the same. And you keep trying to run with it. So what I would do is I would just do a, a quick little moment about C. So some of the moments about C is going to equal negative 10 times. Um, this is from the trig result because you can see that this is a uh, 30 degree triangle. So cosine of 30 is rad 3 over 2 um, bx minus 10 times 1 half 250 Okay, then minus, I'm going to just drop down, minus 20, and then 1 half, 125. And you're probably wondering where that 1 half is coming from, or where this 1 half is coming from. All these are from the trig. So it, it's basically, you know, a, a 30 degree triangle if you were to draw uh, uh, lines uh, vertically and horizontally. So this all will equal 0, and I'm just going to give you the result. BX is going to equal negative 288.68 pounds. And a lot of people are going, okay, well, what does that mean? Well, first of all, this is, this is what BX equals in our orientations that we've been drawing things. Thus, if it's negative, then DX must be 288.68 based off of a previous relationship we had from the last member. So now we know dx and we know uh, and we know dx and we know bx. Uh, let's solve for the c's. If we go to sigma fy is equal to 125 plus 250 plus cy is equal to 0. Thus, CY must equal negative 375 pounds. That's in this diagram only. If you go to sigma F of X, you're going to find that the only thing that is uh, even putting force is going to be, let me see here, you're going to have BX and and CX and they're going to utilizing that BX must equal CX or negative of CX you can kinda of just flop it and you'll find that in this orientation that CX is in that CX will equal negative 288.68 pounds that's just in this orientation you need to remember that Okay, so let's figure out what all the final variables are. Um, the total force at C is going to be 288.68 squared plus 375 squared. 
and this will be C will equal 473 pounds. So that's our reaction at C. What is our reaction at, let's say, B? This would be square root of 250 squared plus 288.68 squared. B is equal to 381.9 pounds. And that is the total force at B. And finally, if we finish up with D, you'll see the square root of 1250 squared plus 288.68 squared. And D is equal to 1283 pounds. Great. Well, we know what A is, we know what B is, C, D, and even E. We knew E for a while, though. So, uh, just, just so you know, uh, this kind of uh, process takes a lot of time to get used to, and uh, I, I really encourage you uh, to practice this over and over and over, and uh, maybe start off with something a little bit more simple, but I just wanted to show you how... Um, with good note keeping and uh, you know good enough head on your shoulders you can actually figure out a way to do these problems relatively quickly and uh, trust me I could have spent 25 minutes on this problem but uh, I, I decided that um, you know you guys already know a lot of the trig and I think you guys understand pretty well how to do moments so um, if you find yourself struggling a little bit I would definitely kick back and maybe go to some of the trust problems before you continue on in any of these examples. So I'll see you guys in another video. Have a good one.